stars they really are just like the rest of us, especially when it comes to facing the frustrations of travel inconveniences. Even Academy Award-winning actress Jessica Chastain, known for her roles in films like The Help and Zero Dark Thirty, found herself at the mercy of an airline mishap, proving that no one is immune to the common annoyances of flying. Chastain recently made headlines after calling out JetBlue on social media due to an in-flight entertainment outage that left her without any entertainment options for the duration of her flight. The star took to X formerly known as Twitter to publicly air her grievances against the airline. In a series of now-deleted tweets, Chastain expressed her frustration at the situation, revealing that despite paying a substantial sum of $1,500 for her ticket, she and her fellow passengers were offered a meager $15 credit as compensation for the inconvenience. The actress shared screenshots of JetBlue's email containing the travel credit offer which only seemed to fuel her frustration further. Thank you at JetBlue for your $15 credit Chastain tweeted, clearly unimpressed by the airline's attempt to make amends. My flight was $1,500 and the credit is one one hundredth of the money I paid you. Her tweet highlighted the disparity between the cost of the flight and the compensation provided, sparking a debate about customer service, fairness, and whether the compensation was sufficient for the inconvenience. Chastain went on to point out that the in-flight entertainment system, which had failed during her six-hour journey, was part of the service she had paid for a service she clearly felt was undervalued by the airline's meager compensation. Strange that I paid that much for your flight entertainment system that didn't work for the duration of my six-hour flight. But I guess it was worth it for this $15 credit, she added sarcastically. In response to Chastain's complaint, JetBlue acknowledged the issue but stated that the $15 credit had been offered to all passengers aboard the flight who had experienced the same problem with the in-flight entertainment. However, Chastain, who noted that both she and her husband had spent the same amount on their tickets, wasn't satisfied with this response. I understand, but I spent $1,500 on the flight, and so did my husband, she replied to the airline. There should be some flight credit or something since I have a True Blue account and have been a loyal customer. As the situation unfolded, social media users quickly caught wind of the exchange, and many were quick to weigh in with their own thoughts on the matter. While some sympathized with the actress, others took a more humorous approach, poking fun at the situation and highlighting the irony of a wealthy Hollywood star being upset over a relatively small amount of compensation. Jessica Chastain beefing with an airline publicly on Twitter shows that no matter how much money you have, you'll never stop being a millennial. One ex-user commented, encapsulating the sentiment that no amount of fame or fortune can spare someone from the minor grievances that come with modern travel. The online conversation sparked a wider discussion about how even celebrities face the same everyday issues as the rest of the population, whether it's delayed flights, lost luggage, or malfunctioning entertainment systems. In an age where social media is often used as a platform for airing grievances, Chastain's public call out of JetBlue highlights the power of celebrity influence, but also reminds us that even stars are subject to the frustrations of customer service. This incident also raises broader questions about what constitutes fair compensation in such situations. Should the cost of the flight play a larger role in determining compensation for in-flight service issues? While $15 may seem trivial in comparison to the cost of Chastain's ticket, JetBlue likely offered the same amount to all passengers, regardless of the price they paid for their seats. For some, the $15 credit might be seen as a reasonable gesture, but for those who spent significantly more, like Chastain, it seems to fall short of expectations. It's also worth noting that in-flight entertainment is a key part of the experience for many travelers, especially on longer flights. When this service is unavailable, passengers often feel the impact more keenly particularly during long-haul journeys where movies, TV shows, and other entertainment options are crucial for passing the time. For Chastain, who was enduring a six-hour flight, the lack of entertainment understandably made the experience less enjoyable, and the airline's gesture likely felt insufficient in light of that inconvenience. As the conversation around this incident continues, it's clear that Chastain's experience resonated with a lot of people, both fans and fellow travelers alike. Whether you're a Hollywood alister or an everyday flyer, moments like this serve as a reminder that even the most glamorous lives aren't free from the occasional frustration. And while the situation might have been frustrating for Chastain, it certainly provided social media users with plenty of entertainment ironic, given the nature of the initial complaint. In the end, the saga of Jessica Chastain vs. JetBlue is a relatable, modern-day travel tale. It underscores the fact that no matter how much money or fame one might have, some things like in-flight entertainment failures and seemingly inadequate compensation remain universal.